Hi guys, it's Michelle and I got mom's baby wash so I'm going to start putting the varnish on. And what I use to make the paint stick to my vinyl kit is Spoke Art Glass and Tile Medium. And so this is the bottle and this is what you have to look for. And I'll show you how I put it on, but it's Glass and Tile Medium Folk Art. Um, I don't find mine at Walmart. I get mine online. It's cost me about five bucks for this bottle on eBay but it does several babies and so close-up look and so this is what I use I know other people use different products but I haven't tried them yet so this is what I recommend anyways I'll be back and show you how I put it on hey guys so here's my little head and I take some of this matte varnish and you shake it up and I'm going to squirt some on this lid. I'm going to take one of the cosmetic sponges and then I dab it on there and I dab it on the head. Now I don't know if you can see but it looks a little wet when you first put it on. You keep patting and patting till you see no bubbles and it looks almost dry but you spread it an even coat on every part of the vinyl because that is going to what it's going to cause get it in a little of the nose bases and the mouth and everywhere and just keep patting and patting till it looks like you got it you'll see it because it'll be shiny so you'll see where you put it and just keep patting and patting until you cover every orifices you don't want any little bubbles or air pockets kind of so and you don't want it too thick so that's why you kind of pat it till it doesn't look shiny anymore and get behind the ears and you just do that all over so you do the same thing with the arms and the legs you just spread it on and get it everywhere So and I can use the little thinner part to try to get it into the mouth. And you want to make sure there's no residue or bubbles. You just kind of get it a thin, smooth coat of it. Because you want it to evenly be everywhere to get that paint to stick. Try not to get too many fingerprints on there. Try to keep your fingers kind of hold it by the neck ring and just get it everywhere. And then I'll let this dry and then I can start painting after I've got an even coat on all the arms and the legs and the head. See, because I think I missed the spot right there. So. I might go over it a second time just to make sure I got all the spots because you want to pat and pat until it's like not shiny anymore. It doesn't look wet. You see the ears still look wet so I want to make sure I pat more there. And I can tell the difference on the vinyl where I've missed spots so I don't think I pat it over here. So I just want to get a good coat everywhere. And just keep patting, patting, patting. So take your time, don't rush it. So my mom likes the little doll that I made. So she wanted me to make another one for her. So I suggested maybe a bigger baby this time. And so she was excited about the prospect of having a toddler. And these sculpts by Donna Rubert are one of my favorites. I love her little cookie and ladybug and stormy and cuddles. And I know there was another one that used to be part of the set. I think there was five in total. So. 
but I'll let you guys go so this won't be too long and so see that's what you do you just keep patting 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 till you don't see you just want a real thin layer get behind the ears and all the creases and get all the spots and then once you think you got an even coat everywhere you then you set it down and you let it dry and so thanks for watching guys and I'll be back with more and so this is how I matte varnish I use this folk art tile and glass medium and this is what I use to put the paint on so this makes the paint adhere to the vinyl kit and so that's what I use so talk to y'all later guys bye